This is full power. And actually, it's not the worst I've seen. To be frankly honest, I've seen a lot worse than this. But at full blast, it barely wants to run. What is up YouTube? This is Rob from RP Model Railroads and in this video I want to share with you guys a very simple hack that you can use on your old Mantua diecast steam locomotives, particularly the 462s and the 282s to make them run a lot better. Now a little bit of backstory, I actually learned this from somebody on the Tyco forum so shout out to that particular friend of mine on the Tyco forum that pointed this out to actually help Tyco passenger coaches light up better so they don't flicker etc. And believe it or not, I actually tried this on one of my old Mantua diecast 462s and it made it run a ton better than it did before. So for whatever reason, these tenders on these old Mantuas just do not pick up power like they should. Oftentimes these metal truck covers get hot and they just do not work well at conducting the electricity from the track through the wire to the locomotive. And in my opinion, because a lot of times as well, in conjunction with this, the magnets in these old locomotives tend to go as well. My honest opinion is it's probably because of the poor pickup on the tender and having to run the locomotive at higher voltage over time, that probably wore out the magnets because I have old Tyco or Mantua uh, diesels from the Redbox era of the 60s with their original magnets in them and everything else with the MU2 style motors and they still run just as strong as they did before. Granted, they did not have die cast boilers or die cast shells uh, to get in their way, but they still run way better than these things do, especially when they're not well cared for. So enough of me talking and let's flip this locomotive over real quick on my soft locomotive, soft layout ground cover here, felt ground. Okay, there we go. Now, I want to draw your attention to these tender wheels here, particularly the pickup wheels, because what I'm going to do is actually put a little bit of oil, not a lot, just a little bit of oil here in the holes, as you can see, on the side of the trucks. But I'm only going to do it to the brass contact side. There really is, in my opinion, no real need to do it over here, unless your wheels are like seizing up or not running well. But in terms of what I'm doing this, the reason I'm doing this is because, as I previously mentioned, uh, somebody on the TF pointed out that when the Tyco passenger coaches tend to flicker, it's because of poor contact pickup from the wheels, so they would put oil down into the points of the wheels on the sides of the truck covers of the Tyco passenger coaches, and then the light would stay on a lot better than it did before. So I figured, well, if it can help to do that, then it probably could also help with conducting electricity on these old tenders. Now, I'm using Liberty Oil. This is some cheapo eBay brand, but again, I would not recommend using a 3-in-1 or any other type of oil other than, you know, standard synthetic train oil. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. Like I said, I'm using an eBay deal here, but um, it does the job. So again, what you want to do is you want to put the bottle of oil thing right down in there. You don't want to put too much because you definitely don't want to get this oil on your tracks. It'll be a nightmare to clean off. You just want to put a little bit down inside the holes where the brass contact side of the tender truck wheels goes into those trucks. So now I'm gonna flip this locomotive over and give it another test run and see how it does. All right, and we have success. So after letting this uh, 462 run around the layout for a little bit, it started picking up speed and now at top speed, this thing is really, really, really chucking along nicely, as you can see. Now, I want to make mention that I did not install a new magnet in this locomotive. Uh, this is the original stock magnet. The only thing I did was exactly what I showed on camera, which was put oil down into the brass sides of the wheels on the tender trucks, which made a big difference in terms of contact pickup. And just look at how this thing runs. It's just absolutely amazing. Now, uh, do, I don't know what's going on with the headlight exactly. That's a complete other issue right there. The wire may be squinched up or something, or the bulb may be blown. But I hope this video was helpful, and I hope that those of you who like these old Mantua diecast steamers like I do will be able to help them run a little bit better without doing a, a ton of work, first of all. And uh, again, I do not know well how exactly well this trick works on passenger coaches, 
but since I got the suggestion to use it on passenger coaches, I would guess that it probably makes a big difference. So thank you very much for watching and steam on.